Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. I don't know if you saw this, babyface. Uh, here, let me see. I, could sh I should probably try Is to... Is that 103? Yeah. So, okay. um, <laughs> you're going to have to read it. Here, let me... Um, Is here, the gonna... Gun Violence and Safe Communities Act of 2018? I'm going to put it in the chat um, the way that I... And then I'm going to put it here in the chat so folks can see it. Oh, of course, this comes from a Democrat in Illinois. Does that surprise anybody? Yeah, so basically what they want to do is up the prices, if I'm, if I'm looking at the right thing. They want to up all the, the, um, the, the uh, taxes. What? So, so you're things. trying to price this out of the market? Yeah, they want to um, the any other thing. They want it to go from 5 to 50. I what? Think, Are you kidding me? Yeah, they want uh, the $200 tax stamp to go from 200 to 500. There's a bunch of things in here, man. To amend so. the Internal Revenues Code of 1986 to increase the excise tax and special occupation tax in respect of firearms and to increase the transfer tax on any other weapon for any other purposes. Are you kidding right now? Yeah. When was and, this introduced today? Um, February sometime, 27th. Yeah, yeah. This needs to die real fast. There's a lot of stuff coming at us, and people think, oh, no, everything's good. We don't have to get mad. They're just going after bump stocks. No. Who cares? You know, there's lots of stuff coming at us here. This would be, I mean, 200 bucks is, listen, think about what $200 with suppressors and SBRs has done. Not everyone's doing it. 500 bucks, that's going to cut that in half. Oh, yeah. You know, and that's taxing you. That is discrimination. Okay. That's financial discrimination against you from being able to do something that the Constitution provides for you to be able to do. These guys are going to get in the way of it to to make to get more money out of us. You know, there's lots of stuff like this coming at us every day, and it's it, like we, we can't even see all of it. Striking through 500 and inserting 50 percent of the dollar amount of applicable under paragraph blah blah blah. 50 percent? Are you kidding me? Yeah, and there's something they're changing from. Um, I believe there's something in there that they're changing from a thousand to two thousand. Yeah, <laughs> this is so. Like, I'm telling you. So a five dollar any AOW would become a hundred bucks. A yep. two hundred dollar suppressor would become a five hundred dollar tax. Oh, this is insane. Talk about going after. You know, um, they always say that they're for the 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 poorer communities or whatnot, but like this is specifically would go after, I would say poor black communities, 100% or poor Hispanic communities or anything like that. Anybody that doesn't have the money to afford a gun. Oh, we're just going to price you right out of the market. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a lot more than that. I mean, right now at this point, do, do you remember, do you remember like back in the olden days when everyone was saying that suppressors are going to come off the NFA? Oh yeah. This I remember that. Yeah, does anyone's ask? I would like to know the person out there who really, really, really believes that suppressors are still coming off the NFA. It's never gonna happen. But the government is planning on making more money out of this shit. Yeah. You know, and if if it's things aren't bad enough, I'm telling you, it's gonna cut that market. Whatever market exists, it's killing it. If yeah. that law goes into effect, that market's done. Okay. And, and the thing about the industry that is blowing my mind is that most people in most companies don't have shit to say about this. They need They're to not use... up in arms. They're not pushing back. <sighs> this is just unbelievable. Yeah. So, and, and um, that's something that Sam from Fortune Freedom caught. Um, I know I saw it today. When did you see it, Kevin? Was it over the weekend? Um, um, I think I saw it. It might have been one of the things I read on Sunday. And then Sam, yeah, and I think today is when Sam actually put it out on um, Instagram. It, I was just like, it has a, here it uh, is, yeah. HR 5103, 20% federal tax on guns, 50% tax on ammo. Can you imagine how many people are going to start reloading? Yeah, but you know what's crazy? You would normally, and this isn't the first time they try something like that, though. And you know, you would normally, first of all, I agree with Babyface's uh, statement earlier. Um, and second of all, you normally would laugh at them like we're going to do what we do to beat you we're not going to take you lightly but haha ha, you're not going to win now the way people are acting republicans gun companies yeah i'm i'm i don't even blame them for trying because you don't know what kind of response you're going to get yeah yeah exactly people are incredibly apathetic we're not the only ones that see it these Isn't guys it? are these guys see all of this and they know people are apathetic right now and aren't getting mad about this. They're not pushing back. Everyone's like, oh, I don't. People are still saying they don't care about bump stocks. 
people still think that the NRA opening up this door was some kind of next level chess. Okay, I get it. The NRA uh, is contesting what's going on here in Florida. I get it. But they opened this door to this. Yes. You know, they made politicians here feel like they would have uh, some kind of standing, some kind of grounds in order to do this. And now, as everyone was saying, as as crazy as Yankee Marshall is, I'm sure right now he's going, I told you all so. <laughs> I guarantee you that right now, because this is what he was saying, that they're creating the problem so that they could step in there and fix it. This uh, is was, my, was that a good Yankee Marshall impersonation? This just is crazy.